You know, Sean, among the very interesting people that live right here in Las Vegas is CJ Watson. Many of you remembered he played 10 years in the NBA. Well, now he is back here in Las Vegas, his, his native town. He's actually working on his third book. Not only that, but runs an incredible nonprofit organization. Do you like checking in with him? Uh, let's do it. Yeah, you know him from Bishop Gorman. You know him from a whole slew of teams, Golden State Warriors, the Bulls, the Nets, the Pacers, the Magic. He's been everywhere, and now he's here, CJ Watson. What's going on, buddy? How are you? Doing good. Thanks for having me. It's great to have you, man. Congratulations on all your success. Um, you are uh, you're an author now. You're doing really well. You you got two books uh, under uh, under your 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 belt, and you got a third coming up. Oh, let, let's talk about uh, CJ's big project. How did this all uh, get come about? Uh, I just came about. I had an idea. I wanted to continue to inspire kids. I, um, playing in the NBA is definitely an inspiration, but I was done playing, and I was wanted to still inspire kids. And I felt like, what other way just to tell my story and um, and put it in a book? It's it's a thing that kids will love to read, and kids need to read just to keep their education. And I thought it would be a good idea. I just love CJ that you're thinking about other people, and you realize that you know you were fortunate because you had such amazing talent you know, to, to already have achieved some things, um, you know, by your mid thirties, it's awesome. So the nonprofit you started here in the Valley, it's called the quiet storm foundation. And I understand that, uh, the goal is, you know, to help kids, regardless of race, regardless of their economic situation, to help them realize their potential. Yeah, for sure. Uh, that was one of my goals when I was younger. Uh, if I ever made it to be successful, I want to, always wanted to give back to my community in the city of Las Vegas. And that was the thing. I grew up in the inner city and I seen good things and bad things. And I seen kids who struggled and kids who didn't have the same opportunities. I just wanted the opportunities to, to be able to believe in themselves and believe that they can be successful no matter what situation they live in. Which is fantastic. I love your your your, your viewpoint, by the way. It's just so clear and great. And I wish everyone like you, CJ, the world would be a better place. Uh, let's talk about your first book. So CJ's Big Dream, you you, uh, you you come up with this. What made you decide to put pen to paper and start writing? Uh, so I worked with a lady named Tamika Newhouse, and she helped me get all my ideas onto paper. And then uh, after that, it was just really a process of talking with her for six or seven months and getting all the ideas together and putting it into a story where uh, it flowed together and the kids will be able to get the message out of it and also uh, – read a book and see great pictures in it and just have fun with it. It's awesome. And the books have really caught on and we hear there, there may be a possibility of an animated series tied to one of the books. Uh, hopefully that's the plan. Uh, that's the idea. That's the goal. Um, I'm going to try and put it into place. And like I said, get all my thoughts and ideas onto paper and uh, put it into in real life and just go from there. You are, you mm -hmm. are, uh, you're nothing if not well diversified, not only a basketball player and author, <laughs> You have a line of healthy vending machines. What? What? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I have those two. Yeah, I, I try to do a little, little bit of everything. Uh, trying to put, put myself in a box and just uh, go out there and try to be successful in everything I do. And if I fail, I fail and then just try again. That's a true entrepreneur, though. What are we finding in these vending machines? What's the best? What's the best healthy thing? That's mm, in there? Yeah. Uh, well, a lot of people like the seaweed. I'm not a big fan of it, um, but we just want to give people healthier options out there. A lot of people are out there dying, and uh, America is very obese as a as a country in itself. So we just want to try your options. Yeah, no doubt about it. That's right. I mean, that's one of the kind of you know the beautiful things that's come out of this very strange situation that we're all in right now is that uh, it's clear that yeah, majority. Of us say, oh. Hold on one second. Who's this? Sorry, we have a. This is my daughter. We have a little interrupter. Oh, it's okay. How old is That's she? What's right. her name? She's three. Zari. Oh, hi, Ari. Hi, Zari. Nice you. Zari, this is so sweet. Oh my goodness. I have. A, I have a. I have a three-year-old as well. So, and we're both about the same age. So this is like this is perfect. Right. It oh really my gosh. Yeah. Wow. We're both on the same. We're, we're Got to go on some play dates together. Yeah, <laughs> we absolutely should. We, yeah. We're almost the same person, <laughs> except I'm terrible at basketball. I've never written a book, and I order from the unhealthy vending machine. <laughs> it's right. that, we're I, I can help same. you in all those aspects. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Please help me. I need the help. Oh speaking, of, speaking of basketball, by the way, before we go, NBA, exactly. we're thinking about possibly restarting. What's going to happen here? Do you think they're, they're actually get uh, get off the ground this year? Uh, I think so. I think it's going to be definitely a turn of say long.
as uh, everyone can be safe. Uh, I think it'd be fun. I think I've been hearing that they might start it without the fans. So, but who knows? It'd be very different and weird. But uh, just as long as people get sports back, I think it'd be a great relief for everyone. You know, the ratings will be high. Would. Man. Boy, you're not kidding. Yeah, for sure. I got yeah. One, one more quick NBA question just before we go. Because, CJ, you played for so many teams, you know, the Bulls, the Warriors, the Nets, Orlando. What team have you kind of kept in touch with the most, or do you think you have the kind of strongest tie to? Um, I get asked that question a lot. I feel like the Warriors because uh, they've been winning championships and stuff like that. And, and that was the team's first shot. So I'm definitely grateful for that first shot and uh, to propel my NBA career. No doubt about it. Well, it's yeah. great having you really quickly. If we want to learn more about Quiet Storm Foundation, where do we go? We go to stormfoundation.org and then you can go to buy my books on Amazon or to my personal website, cjpens.com, cjpens.com. And for the healthy vending machine, you can go to LW healthy vending. I know it's a lot. <laughs> so there's a lot going on. He's, he's got his hands on a whole bunch of stuff. CJ, I'm proud of you, man. Keep it up. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right, great to have you. All the CJ best Penns. to you and your family, hen. Yeah, no doubt about it. It's cjpens.com if you want to uh, definitely uh, catch up on his books and a whole bunch of other websites as well. Honestly, he's got a lot going on, so make sure you check it out. We appreciate CJ for joining us today.